Hello and welcome back to this tutorial on how to make our shoot game object stick to the wall that's just in front of us, like you see with this example. The more I shoot, the more game objects stuck to the wall if they are collided. Otherwise, the ball will not stick and it will just keep on going. In the case that the ball is again stuck at the wall, it will collide and stick where it is. And how we do is very simple with our own collision method and we set the rigid body of the game object to be kinematic. For example, here is my non-shoot, non-change game object. Its is rigid body is not kinematic, so the physics engine applies to it, gravity applies to it. When I shoot it, it's still applied by the gravity and other things. But when it's collided with the wall, its rigid body is now a kinematic rigid body and it will not be affected by the gravity or the physics engine of unity. So let's make some more shoots. Hopefully make it to the wall and get back to how you can create this kind of logic in your games, in your projects. I want to stop the play mode. Okay, so uh, as from the first videos, I mentioned that we have an environment. We have a wall and we have a gun. They have their corresponding text, but we didn't use them up until now. Now we start to use it. Uh, we are using the walls tag. And how you can add a tag in Unity project is very simple. You go to tag drop down of the game objects. Click add tag and write your tag. Hello. The most unnecessary tag. And you can delete it if you would like. So, in our previous video, we created a spawner that spawns the game object where the spawner is. I left it in that state. And spawner takes the spawn as a prefab. So, our game object is now a prefab that we take from our project folder. And this is our prefab game object. And I just drag and drop my stick script to this game object. And I just give a tag that's the target of the stack action for my game object. Let's go to code and have a look. Uh, code is very simple, very, very, very short. Here, we just check the collision. We check the uh, tag of the collided game object. And if it is our stack object tag, which is our target game object to be stick. And if it is, we take our rigid bodies. We set our rigid body to be a kinematic rigid body. And this is what this code makes. I didn't include this very simple logic drag and shoot because I want every piece of these tutorials to be a standalone part. So you can just take this code and add to your project and use it without all the drag and shoot logics. And also the get component is called when the game object is a target game object because at this stage we don't require to get the rigid body component at the start. We just only need it when the color appears. So it is not in the start function but here in collision state. And also here are some old friends require components which I deep dive into in details in the first video while writing drag and shoot. So if you don't know what they do, I suggest taking a look at the first video, especially at that part. It is a chapter in the description so you can go directly on that timestamp. It, it just makes sure that the game object has rigid body and collider attached if you want to use stick behavior in your project. And yes, this is it for the code. Let's go back to our project and have some more demos. So my game object is created. I am shooting the game object and it's collided and it's stuck there. If it's first collided with the ground, it continues going on. Like when it collides with the wall, it stops there. And this is how you can create a stick behavior for your games by using collisions and rigid bodies is kinematic value. This is a very fun hypnotizing thing when you start to shoot the ball. At the start, when you are shooting the ball and it did no effect, it just fell down, it was very aimless, but this time you have an aim. You want the ball uh, to get the ball and stick where it collided with. And this is a very nice touch for this project at the moment. In the next ones, I am planning to change the material when game object collide with the ground or the wall and maybe next time the game object collides with the ground it may get destroyed or it may stay where it is like we did here and it's very easy to do as an exercise you can do it by yourself and let me know how it go and yes this is it for this video thank you for watching up to this point if you have any questions there was a point that's not clear please let me know in the comments and i will do my best to help you and if you have any suggestions for the video for the next videos for the for the previous videos please do not hesitate to share 
I would like to make more videos and I would like to get the videos better and better each time. So all feedbacks are very valuable. And thank you. If you like this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing as I mentioned earlier. More and more videos are coming. This is it for now and I will see you in the next explorations. Bye bye.